Hello friends, uh, my name is Rohit and today I will give you the demonstration of a clam meter which is uh, of Sigma May and the model number is uh, 997. I will give you a uh, detailed description of how to use this instrument and uh, what are the parameters included in this. So uh, let's not waste the time and uh, let's start the demonstration now. So let's see first what we are getting in the box. Uh, we are getting a instrument, a lead set, a working manual and the calibration certificate. The battery is also included in it and I have already put the battery on the instrument. Uh, so this is the manual. Uh, it is uh, very helpful for any audit purpose or something if you want. Uh, these are the lead sets provided with the meter. And uh, the quality of the lead set is quite decent and uh, this is the manual which is provided and it is having all the uh, details onto it. It's a true RMS clamp meter of 600 ampere AC and DC, 600 volts AC and DC. Here are the details. Uh, you can see that uh, the voltage range of DC is 600 volt DC. The AC voltage is 600 volts AC and the current is 600 ampere AC and DC. Resistance is up to 60 mega ohm. And there is a diode and a continuity also. This frequency up to 10 megahertz and capacitance you can measure up to 20 millifarad. So I will give you a, a demonstration of it uh, and uh, uh, let's start with the demonstration. So here we can see uh, that this is the clamp meter and all the details are over here. This is the AC current range, then the, there's a DC current range, frequency, millivolt, uh, DC uh, voltage, AC voltage, and there are some other ranges also, the capacitance, diode, uh, the resistance, and the continuity part. Uh, so I will uh, give you a brief demonstration of how to use this instrument uh, now. So I have put the batteries onto it and I have put the lead sets also. You can see on the com the black lead set and the red part on the other terminal. There is a point where we have to put the batteries. The batteries provided are of triple A uh, 1.5 volts, uh, the small size one. And uh, <clears throat> now it is turned on. You can see that there are four buttons provided over here. I will teach you uh, what button each button will do and uh, there is a data hold button you can see over here when we press it there's a hold button and we when we press this for around two seconds it will show turn on the backlight which is a blue color and uh, it will help uh, my friends when we are working uh, in a low light environment then it will help us to read the value what uh, you want to measure AC voltage or AC current or uh, other uh, features so here it is uh, when i am going into this range firstly uh, then you can see there are four uh, modes over there then we have to press a select part firstly it is goes to under a resistance part then we when we press select button it is go into the continuity part then it goes into diode part you can see the diode is also over there when we press it again, you can see F part. F part means the uh, farad or the capacitance part. Uh, you can measure the capacitance uh, of uh, capacitance value of any capacitor, but uh, before using it, kindly first discharge the capacitor and then turn uh, connected to the clamp meter. Otherwise, uh, the clamp meter will get damaged. So I will show you uh, some of the values. Now this is the DC voltage. I'm having a small battery with me. It is showing 8.39 volts. Um, the battery is quite old, so it is showing 8.39. Otherwise, it will uh, the, the battery is new. It will show around 9 volts DC. So now I will uh, tell you how to measure uh, AC voltage onto it. I'm having an extension over there. You can see. Uh, it is an auto range clamp meter and uh, now you can see 
it is uh, coming to 238.1 volt uh, ac so it is working fine and then i am going on to the resistance part it is an auto part uh, i am having some resistance with me here i am uh, it will it is measuring so it is 100 ohm resistance and it is showing 100.5 and I am having some other resistance also, also of 1 kilo ohm. Let's see what is showing. Okay, it is showing around 0 0.990 means 1 kilo ohm. So now we move on to uh, the main part that is AC current part and DC current part. Now uh, uh, I will guide you how to measure AC current onto it. Uh, I'm having a bulb and AC, when, you, when you are measuring AC current uh, you can measure it onto any current but you have to go like this and uh, the clamp size is uh, 24 mm uh, jaw size is 24 mm and you you can see when we have to press these uh, both the points to get the clamp open on AC current while measuring AC current you can use on any wire uh, either this wire or the that wire or you can say any live wire but if you are measuring on to a DC current you have to uh, take the uh, uh, current clamp wire of positive terminal only because on that wire uh, the current is flowing and not on the negative wire so I am turning it on and let's see you can see it is showing nothing and I'm now I'm going to this point the point is that uh, in the manual what I have uh, I have read it that uh, it cannot measure current in milliampere and it can measure current from 2 ampere to 600 ampere the total range of this clamp meter is 600 ampere but it cannot measure current less than 2 ampere so the current flowing uh, uh, in this wire was less than 2 ampere so it was showing current as 0 now I will demonstrate you uh, for the DC current part and I am having a sample which uh, which can measure uh, which is which will give you output of more than 2 ampere then I will show you that this clamp meter is measuring current but it cannot measure the current in milliampere so now i will show you how to measure dc current uh, from this clamp meter uh, so i have this power supply with me it is uh, uh, 10 ampere it is 30 volts and 10 ampere dc and uh, that the current will be flowing uh, from it and will be measuring the dc current and when you will be uh, going in a field where, where, where you are testing for solar panels or say, let's say inverter batteries or something uh, then uh, the current will always be flown on the positive wire only and not on the negative wire but this is a power supply when we will be shorting both these terminals you can see that the current will be flowing in this wire and through this I will be showing you that how to measure DC current and can this uh, clamp meter is measuring a lower current or not so uh, i have put this uh, voltage to around uh, 4 to 5 volts and then i'll be shorting this uh, terminal here it is and here you can see that around 0.5 ampere current is flowing so we'll be turning it on the clamp meter here you can see that the, the dc sign is over here and uh, you can see there is some error so we'll be pressing this relative button and now the zero error uh, is gone and the instrument is ready for use so now we will be taking this clamp or wire into this and here you can see that I have also read in the manual that it cannot measure uh, the current less than 1 ampere and actually it is not measuring less than 1 ampere so we will be increasing some of the current and then we seeing that uh, now you can see that around 1.5 ampere 1.6 ampere so it is it cannot read uh, the current in milliampere if you are doing some work where you can uh, where you have 
uh, more than one ampere current flowing then you can use this instrument for the cheap it's the best instrument and the current you can measure is up to 600 ampere so now you can see that uh, the current is flowing and it is measured accurately because it's a true rms clamp meter so the results are quite accurate so uh, also i have uh, seen this instrument and i am i am using this instrument for the for the past few days and the quality of this instrument and the uh, built in quality is quite decent if you have some uh, queries also you can contact to the seller over there and it is available on each and every platform you can uh, buy directly also or you can buy through any online channel so that's it for today keep uh, if you have some queries kindly do write in the comment section box and i will be uh, giving the answer as soon as possible uh, till then keep on liking my channel and subscribe my channel i will be coming with some more uh, technical instruments to show you thank you